To put together a puzzle from over a hundred pieces, you must recognize its defining features. To attract viewers from a crowd of over a hundred TV channels, we have to stand out. The 23 million people in Taiwan can all enjoy more than 100 television channels 24 hours a day at low cost. Taiwan has the most competitive television environment in Asia. Many media outlets will stoop to any means to pander to viewers, even selling the integrity of their news for the sake of profits. Only public media can improve all of this. Public Television Service was founded in 1998. As a terrestrial television channel, it provides the residents of Taiwan quality programming free of charge. PTS does not air advertisements. Its operating costs are covered by government appropriation, corporate and individual donations, and income from program sales. This is the third public television station in Asia, following similar ones in Japan and Korea to be protected by a public television law. It's also the only public TV station in the Chinese-speaking world. PTS's personnel, business operations, editorial rights, and program content are all independent, without government control. For 10 years, PTS News, with rigorous, in-depth reporting, has provided viewers unbiased, objective information on current events, reflecting the many faces of Taiwanese society. Our Island the channel's weekly news magazine has been running ever since PTS was founded. Long concerned with Taiwan's environment, it documents the changes in the island's ecology, the state of environmental protection, and the tens of thousands of species living here. In 2007, PTS introduced IN News. The IN 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 News stands for Independent, In-Depth, and Investigative. This program of investigative journalism promotes the rebirth of professionalism in TV news, allowing Taiwan's most senior journalists to show their professionalism without pressure from any outside forces. Since the program was first aired, it has won the Excellent Journalism Award, Taiwan's highest journalism honor, several times. In addition, PTS significantly increased its hours of news coverage in 2008, from two hours a day to four. This has made our reporting faster and more accessible to viewers. And to avoid overly concentrating news resources in the capital city, PTS has specially strengthened its local news reporting. We have also begun planning a news channel specifically for southern Taiwan. In order to reflect the many different voices in society, we must listen to the thoughts of every citizen. During Taiwan's 2008 presidential election debates, Tsang chi shan an organic farmer from Mainong in Kaohsiung County, posed questions for Taiwan's future president, speaking in the capacity of a citizen. This debate was hosted by PTS. Citizens gained the chance to question presidential candidates through the website PayPo. The meaning of the website PayPo is People Post, focusing on the global rise of blog culture and trends in grassroots media. PTS in 2007 created the world's first media constructed audiovisual platform for citizen journalism, allowing people to report issues on the local community and fill in the blind spots in mainstream media. This debate opened a new page in Taiwanese democracy and bore witness to the development of Taiwanese civil society. We not only give ordinary citizens access to the media, we are also mindful to nurture first-rate TV production talent in Taiwan, providing them an original and inclusive stage. 
Viewpoint is Taiwan's only regularly scheduled program that provides funds and a broadcasting platform for independent documentary filmmakers. It has accumulated hundreds of hours of documentary films about the numerous features of life in Taiwan and the issues of greatest concern to Taiwanese society. Similarly, Life Story is Taiwan's only program openly soliciting independent dramatic films, providing funds to create single-episode TV dramas. Hey, this is who? Yeah. She's my daughter. Mama? Yeah. You're married? You want to be a part of your life. You don't want to be a part of your life. This highly experimental and creative platform has cultivated countless first-rate Taiwanese film and television talent. Every year, Taiwanese children watch an average of 1,000 hours of television programs. TV has a huge influence on them. To make sure that children receive the right information and quality entertainment from TV, PTS invests considerable resources into the production of programs for children and youth. When children encounter the omnipresent influence of the Internet, Rumor Buster breaks through all the misinformation in cyberspace using scientific methods. Journey through the Palace Museum and have fun with art changed the exploration of ancient art into a fascinating journey. At the 2007 Golden Bell Awards, Taiwanese television's highest honors, Mo Ai Fung, a new immigrant from Indonesia, appeared eight months pregnant to receive the award for Best Leading Actress in a Miniseries. This was the first time that an immigrant won this prestigious award. There are near 400,000 new immigrants in Taiwan. In 2007, PTS produced a series of dramatic programs and documentaries for this newly formed group and introduced a number of dramas from Southeast Asia to Taiwan. This not only soothed the homesickness of immigrants, but also infused Taiwan with a diversity of culture. In 2007, PTS expanded the terrain of Taiwanese TV by forming a group called the Taiwan Broadcasting System. This new family includes Chinese Television System, Taiwan Indigenous TV, Hakka TV, and Taiwan Macroview TV. Breaking free of government interference and integrating public resources, TBS provides different ethnic communities and overseas viewers with a higher quality audiovisual culture. One of these channels, Taiwan Macroview TV, broadcasts Taiwanese news and programming to the whole world through eight satellite feeds and the internet, allowing ethnic Chinese people across the globe to understand the latest state of affairs in Taiwan and the beauty of Taiwanese culture. We not only care about local Taiwanese culture, but also actively stimulate a host of creative ideas through international cooperation, as well as collaboration with TV channels and directors from other countries, exchanging cultures and production experiences. In 2006, we brought together veteran Taiwanese nature program director Ke Jin Yuan and Dr. Nick Upton of Britain to produce Monkey War and Peace, which won praise at more than 10 major nature film festivals around the world. In addition to international co-productions, our presence can be found in a variety of major international organizations and film festivals. The Taiwan International Children's TV and Film Festival, founded by PTS, is the pioneering children's film festival of Asia. At the third festival in 2008, 
105 films from 31 countries were screened in competition at the same venue, attracting nearly 40,000 viewers. Moreover, the section Kids as Directors allowed children to personally make their own short films, putting the power of film production in their hands and viewing the world from their perspective. And we're never on the sidelines when it comes to sports. In 2009, the camera lens of PTS will bring the world the thrilling events of the World Games. In 2010, PTS and Taiwan Indigenous TV will co-host the World Indigenous Television Broadcasting Conference, inviting television professionals engaged in Indigenous culture from around the world to focus together on strategies for developing Indigenous broadcasting. Producing exceptional program content is our core value, but public television service is also equally focused on changes in broadcasting technology, bringing the public a broadcasting environment of ever higher quality. In 2006, the Taiwanese government allocated a budget of 140 million US dollars to engage in a two-year project of public broadcasting, cultural creation, and digital television development. PTS was charged with developing a high-definition television transmission station, broadcasting HDTV programs, establishing cell phone television transmission facilities and testing services, and digitizing PTS's film archives, which will be available to the public on a digital platform for resource sharing. Taiwan's first terrestrial high-definition TV channel Hi HD began broadcasting in July 2008. Natural Formosa, a wildlife and nature film created in full HD format, reveals the beauty of Taiwan's ecology from the ocean floor to the top of the island's highest peak, Mount Jade, using the highest quality of imaging technology. Spirits of Orchid Island are also high-definition nature films produced by PTS. As the world becomes more globalized, we will be competing and cooperating with millions of TV channels across the Earth. We will not rest on past laurels, we are determined to do even better.